Hey 5th graders! Welcome to our awesome science journey. Get ready to dive into the amazing world of living things with us. In this fun and informative adventure, you'll learn all about living things. Chapter 1, Living Things Lesson 1, What do all living things need? In this lesson, we explore the basic needs and characteristics of living things. All living organisms, including plants and animals, share common traits such as growth, reproduction, and response to their environment. They need energy, which they obtain from food, and resources like water, air, and nutrients to survive. This foundational understanding helps students grasp why living things behave and function the way they do. Lesson 2, Understanding Cells and Their Functions Cells are the basic units of life, making up all living organisms. In this lesson, students will learn about the different structures within a cell, such as the nucleus, cell membrane, and cytoplasm, each performing vital functions. We also compare plant and animal cells, noting the unique presence of a cell wall and chloroplasts in plant cells. Additionally, we discuss specialized cells like muscle, nerve, and blood cells, and introduce the concept of stem cells, which can develop into various cell types and help repair tissues. Lesson 3, Growth and Reproduction in Living Things This lesson covers the processes of mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis is the division of cells that produces identical new cells for growth and repair. Meiosis, on the other hand, involves cell division that results in sex cells, gametes, with half the usual DNA, which are essential for sexual reproduction. We also explain the differences between asexual and sexual reproduction, highlighting how asexual reproduction involves one parent and produces identical offspring, while sexual reproduction requires two parents and results in genetically diverse offspring. Key points about cells and living things. Characteristics of living things, growth, reproduction, use of energy, and response to the environment. Basic unit, cells are the basic units of structure and function in all living organisms. Organization, complex organisms have specialized cells organized into tissues and organ systems. Cell structures, nucleus, cell membrane, and cytoplasm each serve important functions. Plant versus animal cells, plant cells have a cell wall and chloroplasts, both have many similarities. Specialized cells, examples include muscle, nerve, and blood cells. Stem cells, can develop into specialized cells and help repair damaged tissues. Types of stem cells, embryonic stem cells come from embryos, and adult stem cells are found in various tissues. Mitosis, produces new identical cells for growth and repair. Meiosis, produces sex cells with half the usual DNA. Gametes, sperm and egg cells that join in fertilization to produce a new organism. Asexual reproduction, involves one parent and produces identical offspring. Sexual reproduction, involves two parents and produces genetically diverse offspring. Development, multicellular organisms begin as a single fertilized egg that divides and differentiates. Communication, cells coordinate functions through chemical signals and interactions. Specialization, tissues, organs, and systems enable efficient function. Response to stimuli, specialized cells and tissues help organisms respond to changes. Growth and repair, cell growth and division allow organisms to develop and repair tissues. Genetic variation, differences in genes and growth conditions cause variation within species. Selective breeding, enhances desirable traits in plants and animals. Careers involving plant and animal interactions. Understanding plant and animal interactions opens doors to careers like botanists, zoologists, agricultural scientists, and ecologists. These professionals study living organisms and their environments, helping us understand and protect the natural world. Next Generation Science Standards, NGSS, and Common Core Standards. NGSS 5LS11, support an argument that plants get the materials they need for growth chiefly from air and water. NGSS 5LS21, develop a model to describe the movement of matter among plants, animals, decomposers, and the environment. NGSS 5PS31, use models to describe that energy in animals' food was once energy from the sun. Common Core State Standards for Science, CCSS, focus on developing critical thinking, understanding of scientific concepts, and the ability to analyze and interpret data. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and share this video. Until next time. Dr. Siegfried Howell